Well, welcome to another edition of the Ginu guy and the Ginu girl. She's not in the truck yet. She's uh, she's on her way. So we'll say something before she gets in the truck. Today I gotta take her out, okay? She's been getting too much exposure on the channel. She's been showing me up, making me look bad. So today, she doesn't know this, but I'm having me a 1v1 challenge against her. I'm not gonna tell her, but we're gonna see how this works out. See if the Ginu guy can go ahead and uh, overtake her. She's been showing me up, so let's see what happens today. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see if the Ginu, bleh. let's see if the Ginu guy can be number one again. Well, welcome to another episode of the Ginu Guy. We got the Ginu, the 15-4 High Sider, ready to go, hooked up, ready to head to the creek. Me and B are headed out there. We had a first stop at St. Augustine Paddle Sports. We got today five dozen muds, five dozen uh, shrimp, and a dozen little finger mullet. So the plan today is to go ahead and go deep in the creek uh, using some uh, knocker rigs and just plain jig heads on that live bait. Uh, I know the trout has been running because the water's a little cooler, uh, but we're going to try to get on a big old red back there. We did really well last time we fished back uh, deep in the creek. We got a couple of spots that we're, we've used before, and uh, we know the tide is right. It's high tide right now, so all those fish are going deep in the creek. So we're hoping to get there right when the tide starts to change and uh, it starts going back out. As we go back there, we realize that we're, we got a whole bunch of kayaks back here, which they're in a lot of the spots that we like, so we're gonna look for some different spots, hopefully uh, over there near the tracks and past the tracks, and see if we can find some new locations and find some of these fish. So let's stay tuned. Let's see who can get on the fish first and who can get the most. with it, move it a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> he almost got you. Yep, first one in the boat, little redfish, little 15 inch redfish, he's bleeding pretty good. We're gonna get him back in the water and keep going. See you later, sucker. So B heard me whispering, so the cat's out of the bag. So she know I'm uh, got a little competition going, and she's not scared. She knows what she's got to do. She knows she's gonna catch the fish. So I'm just hoping to try to stay with her and hopefully catch enough just to, to maybe close to tire. So we'll see. We changed spots again. Went past another kayaker, and we're stopping past the tracks in a spot that we've caught some fish in the past, and uh, some snook usually back up in this area. So we'll see what we can get. It's a red, I think. I think it's a red. Yeah, it's a little red. That's not over here.
so we both caught two fish. Nothing for the boat, no keepers yet. Uh, so we're going to head back towards the docks. The current's starting to really go out fast. Uh, a couple of the kayakers are still in those other locations. So we're going to try some more spots and see if we can find some different places. I'm not showing a lot of the spots we stopped, but we stopped probably at 10 different locations trying to get on the fish, but I was then able to get them. Did see some pretty cool dolphin go through here, which is not very often. I guess the clear water is uh, kind of brought them back. They're looking for the fish as well. It's a red. Yeah, it's a little one, but it's a red. How many reds up for you? Two. Two. Okay, baby. Well, we're out in the creek. We went deep in the creek trying to get in a good spot. There's kayakers everywhere back there. They were getting on them, so they had the good spots back there. We tried a couple of other spots that we sometimes catch fish at, and we caught a few. So right now, uh, Becky's got two reds and a mangrove, and I've got one red and a trout, so my little 1v1 is not working out so well. She's uh, taking me to school again. So, stop, blah, blah, blah. Taking me to school again. See, I need to go to school. Oh, geez. All right. We're back to it. Put your anchor pole on, don't baby. Oh, come on. Come on. Ooh, come on a fish. It's probably a little red. Okay. Yeah. Threw a fish at me. <laughs> 16. All right, well, don't count the new guy out yet. Got another one, a 16 inch red. So that's two reds and a trout. The Ginu guy has no quit in him. You about ready to go? Oh, just kidding. See you later, sucker. I'll quit when I'm winning. Well, we tried a few more places and uh, couldn't catch any more fish. So we ended up tying. So GNU guy three, GNU girl three, we tied up. That makes for uh, at least a parlay. Is that what we call it? A pirate parlay? I, I don't know. But we uh, go ahead and call it quits. We couldn't get on any more fish. We tried closer to the inlet, uh, but they just weren't biting. So I don't know. So we headed back in and uh, Headed to the house, didn't have to clean any fish today. Very rare that we don't have any fish in the cooler. But we did this day, no keepers. And so we're gonna try again next time. So we're gonna head out there and do some more hunting. So the more hunting videos coming your way. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you like our videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching The Ginu Guy.